These are the ruins of an old Native American boarding school on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota. Until the 1970s, more than 350 such schools were set up with the explicit goal of eradicating Native American culture. Erase and replace. Erase language, replace with English. Erase spirituality, religion, replace with Christianity. By 1900, more than half of all Native children lived in the strictly regimented institutions. Corporal punishment, physical punishment, malnutrition, certainly we know sexual abuse. They were hellish institutions by any definition of the term. No one is sure how many children died in the system. Recently, the remains of nine Lakota children who died at a school more than a century ago were returned for burial on their native land. The boarding school system not only did harm to the children who were caught up in it, it also severely damaged Native American societies with effects that have been felt generation after generation. Native American youth commit suicide two and a half times more than the general population. The rate of alcohol and drug abuse among Native Americans is higher than for any other group. They have lower life expectancy. There are many reasons for these problems, but boarding schools played a role. Recently, U.S. Interior Secretary Deb Holland, herself a Native American, announced an official investigation into the boarding school program. To promote spiritual and emotional healing in our communities, we must shed light on the unspoken traumas of the past, no matter how hard it will be. Sichangu Oyate Lakota member Lynn Colom says her own mother never had a chance to learn parenting skills during her youth in a boarding school. People just missed out on learning from their own home and learning from their own families on things as simple as showing affection. Her niece, Vesta Colom, reflects on the pain the system caused her family. Because of the way my grandmother was treated in these schools, it caused a lot of abuse between my mom and her siblings growing up because my grandma was really never truly taught how to love somebody or to be loved. Many Native Americans take pride that, despite the efforts to erase them, they survive. To simply say, that boarding schools and settler colonialism have broken Native societies. It's not true. Their distinct cultures live on in the lands that have always belonged to them. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, on the Rosebud Lakota Reservation, South Dakota.